guys welcome back in today's video edition here i'm gonna be teaching you guys why synthetic motor oil might be bad for your engine this very topic here i have actually discussed it in one of my channel but i want to give it a tickle so that people can be able to understand more vividly and comprehensively what i mean by this very statement if you pop your hood open and open your engine oil compartment where you pour the motor oil inside your engine you're going to see the prescription which the manufacturer actually specified for your car brand year and model now there is a twist to that very information there which a lot of people are not paying attention to especially in nigeria and africa you know in nigeria and africa they are so scared of car automotive technology like as if it's a space program or rocket science that or atomic bomb that if you just do any little error it blows everyone apart now why did i say that this is realistically the fact and most people in the western world except those who have had the gut to start doing diys are also scared of car technology but here i'm about to break this very subject down to predicates and consumable so that you can be able to feed on them and understand how this oil works first phase of this very video here which i'm going to be diving into is oil analysis what are the characteristics of oil when it has a low temperature when it has a low temperature applied to it the viscosity increases isn't that true now when you increase the temperature the viscosity reduces any oil do not escape this very law of nature if you subject it under a direct sunlight you're gonna see the oil becoming more lighter and when it gets more lighter it starts losing its viscosity ability or lubricate uh, lubricative ability to lubricate the engine for optimal engine performance the reason why i'm sitting on this my motorbike today here is because i want to give you that very holy grail information which i missed in the other episode in my second channel now i talked about the reactivity and the attitude of oil when you're subjected to temperature to higher temperature when the temperature increases by this very moment right now i don't need to tell you that the oil and temperature has inverse proportionality so when there is increase in temperature sorry the oil viscosity and temperature has inverse proportionality when the temp temperature increases the viscosity goes down for most of you who are living in winter environment this is going to be a little bit more on your side if you're using synthetic like i'm gonna be putting the chart right here or probably covering my face that chart right there indicate the flash point I, i'm using the flash point as the, the the term to the to qualify or to describe when the oil started losing its viscosity when oil is subjected to a high temperature that is start losing its viscosity ability to look properly lubricate the engine so in that very chart right there you're gonna see where the zero w 20 0 w25 5 w20 5 w30 10 w and the rest of them where the edge the mat on the top of that very chart right there you're gonna see the temperature the humidity of the environment which is based on manufacturer specification a lot of people are not paying attention to this that's why i'm bringing this to you because most engine failures are actually due to poor lubrication of the engine so a lot of you guys are saying i am using the specified oil by the manufacturer and yet why did my engine actually fails that is why i'm bringing this information to you so because it's very expensive piece it's more like half of the money trying to buy another car and therefore a very carefulness a very severe degree of carefulness should be attached to the oil that goes into the engine now most manufacturer knows that they are manufacturing or specifying synthetic oil will be detrimental to your engine and that's why most cars that is uh prescribed to use zero w20 have what we call oil cooler that oil cooler right there there is an intersection of the coolant of your motor uh, engine coolant that intersect with that very cooler right there so that they can meet halfway with the oil so when the oil flow through that very uh, region right there to, through that medium right there it reduces the temperature of the oil of the motor oil before it goes back and feed your engine remember what i told you at the context of this very video here about the temperature relationship chart or the temperature uh uh comparison between viscosity and temperature that when the viscosity goes up it means the temperature is down and when the uh, viscosity goes down it means the temperature is up so don't forget that most cars that is not equipped with that very oil cooler what happens then this is a messy it's a very messy situation because the temperature of the oil is going to keep building up we're talking about a whole lot of uh 100 degrees Celsius or even more we're talking about much more than that when the engine temperature start building up the environment temperature is supposed to cool it down that is why the front grill of your car 
has a perforation to accept air which has been conditioned by the humidity of the environment to cool down the engine because when the engine uh, which you've seen is made up of aluminum is also to reduce the temperature although i'm not saying that your engine should be cold all the time no it is meant to run with a specific heat amount of heat and that is why the operating temperature of the engine is very critical to the fuel economy of your car so if you go out and pluck out the thermostat in order because you want to reduce the motor oil temperature to gain a better viscosity to lubricate your engine properly you are causing more damage to the engine and also you are going to be having your car running rich and going back to the gas station now i say there is a reason why i packed this very motorbike here this is rf's 900 that is made in 98 suzuki one of the best titan one race have been in uh, moto gp a lot of times now if we check the oil specification for this very bike here despite the fact that it's not meant for africa you can see here that it's using 10 w 40 10 is actually the oil weight on the cold uh, winter which is this w y40 is the environment uh, temperature the flow of the oil when the oil has heated up the viscosity of the oil when the engine has heated up so why didn't they do this one 5020 because this engine runs hotter so it need a thicker oil weight in order to replicate this very engine at a higher rpms and at a higher high speed why this very motorcycle is racing inside moto gp so any failure of the engine is not accepted now you guys have seen a typical example of what the manufacturer does when they know that the engine will disregard the environment temperature they specify an oil that have a much weight a much viscosity in order to be able to counter the increase in temperature because if they don't do that the engine is going to fail prematurely which this is ideal case of nearly most people who their engine is experiencing failure in nigeria especially most people who are driving range rovers and more exotic cars and they are busy spending a lot in trying to buy mobile one or magnetic synthetic whichever gtx uh castro yeah I am not saying you should not pay attention to what they prescribe but it has to be doing with your environmental temperature so if you're living in a country where there is a lot of winter the w like i said stands for winter like canada us russia well the specification for your car is what you should use because those areas the researchers the sae society of automobile engineers have actually investigated that environment properly before making that oil and therefore both the api everything is suitable for your car condition but when you go outside the context of europe and you start going to africa all that is trash and at this very point here even using the so-called synthetic blend might not even be an option so you gotta choose oil that has more weight so this case here i want you to forget that catchy phrase for selling catfish at the price of at the price of tuna toss it into the trash what i'm saying here is you've been hearing that is mineral oil that is that is trash and garbage every oil which is handmade that has been tampered with by human is synthetic so there is no such thing as mineral the both of them are synthetic oil the difference there is that the one which they named mineral does not have very good uh, quality or quantity of additives that's going to be cleansing your engine but if you look around very well if you test very well if you're replacing your motor oil every 3000 or 3500 miles without wasting time and replacing the fuel that same oil which they told you is mineral oil that is building sludge it's not going to build sludge and it's going to cleanse your engine properly but when you start delaying it taking it to 4,000 or 5,000 miles then it's going to start building sludge because the oil molecules is going to break down and that's going to result into causing sludge that kills your engine so now that you know this sharing this information with your friends is going to help them to save their car and they are going to thank you for it you're going to be taking the credit for it when i'm not there thank you for watching now you have noticed spread this information to help others save their engine from catastrophic failure bye for now i'll see you later as your diy assistant any question you have drop it in the comment section but make sure you're subscribing to my channel all right bye for now